but right now we're going to start with drink and burp. Now both drink and burp we want to appear here. So we'll have both of them appearing here, but what we're going to do is we're going to use, let's use an alpha tween and also a color tween and perhaps even we can do a shape tween. So we can have, let's have a separate layer in between. Okay, let's go back to frame one and delete these. Delete delete. They're not there. So there's run and stop. And now that I know, I think I think run and stop can occur in the middle. And the way to do that, now this is this is somewhat tricky, but at the same time, you know, it works. So if you select all of these frames, if you turn on edit multiple frames, if you turn the marker range to all, and if you now that we've got everything locked except those two, okay, let's use command A to select all, and let's go ahead and align them to the vertical center. Don't do anything to the horizontal, but align them to the vertical center and that align everything to the vertical center, okay? And let's see what that looks like now. We'll turn off the marker range, the edit multiple frames, and now that it's set up here, let's command S and command return to see what it looks like so far. There we go. Okay, that looks good. And now drink and burp. Let's lock these, turn off the eyeballs, and now we're working in drink and burp. So layer six we will use to put in the transition between drink and burp. So drink, let's align center, and let's also, let's align to stage and match the size, but Go to transform, okay, and let's take it down, let's constrain it, and let's take it down to just a little bit smaller. So you can see all the edges. And now let's lock drink and come to burp. Do the same to burp. We're going to align the center and we're going to match width and height and let's bring it to the middle and then we're going to transform it, make sure it's locked and just make it just a little bit smaller so it fits fits nicely, okay? Let's again align the centers just to make sure go back to burp and, and drink and, and do that as well So we got drink and burp. So let's lock burp and we'll turn it off so we don't see it. And now we're going to take drink and we're going to take drink and burp and we're going to make them turn one into the other. And we're going to do that by, here's drink, let's go to frame got 240 from 90 so that's quite a bit so 240 from 90 so let's go to about frame 120 on layer 6 which is the new empty layer put in F7 okay and then we'll have it go up to oh, 190 and we'll just F7 there as well Okay, and then we want to go to this one, burp, and we'll F6 there, because that's where we want it to actually appear, and then we'll come to here on 
drink and F7 there, so it disappears. Okay. Now, come to here, and if you hold down Option, you can copy this, copy this frame up here. Okay, so there's drink. But we'll come to here and we will if you right click and you say duplicate symbol and call it drink to burp. Okay. So this is actually going to be a duplicate symbol. So we're, here we are in drink to burp. We're going to double click on that. And now here it is. This is drink. And you come up to modify timeline, distribute to layers, and it puts each shape on one layer. Now we will go ahead and see which ones they are. So let's see. This is we take the eye. Here we go. Let's command X and then go to layer six, which is the eye, and shift command V, and that puts it in there. So now we can get rid of layer seven. Okay. Now there's the eye. Okay, this is the eye. We want to take the eye and we want to make it into another letter. But first we want to we'll call this I. And you have to find out which ones are which. Okay. R. Okay, so these are the letters. So we'll take D to the bottom, R, I, and K. Okay, and we'll lock those. 